hello and welcome back to our channel in this video we'll show how we can fix the task eng.exe which keeps popping up randomly task eng.exe is a process known as task scheduler engine and is signed by microsoft corporation the original task eng.exe is an important system file which makes it a high target for malware it's responsible for keeping trap it's responsible for keeping track of tasks that are set to run at a predetermined time and call upon them when necessary a lot of users have reported that a task eng.exe window pops up every once in a while depending on the circumstances users will sometimes see an empty task end.exe window or a short message telling that a certain executable could not be found. There are a lot of potential causes that will trigger this task eng.exe error. Here's a quick rundown of the most common occurrences. Corrupt Windows registry keys associated with task eng.exe Files currently in use by task eng.exe have been removed or modified by another program or ill-intended malware or trojan horse is camouflaging itself as the task eng executable. Like every other system file with enhanced permissions, task eng.exe is the perfect disguise target for malicious programs created by cyber criminals. While the random pop-up can very well be predefined process scheduled to run automatically, it can also be a sign of a virus infection. In any case, a blank black task eng.exe pop-up is not a natural behavior. It's either caused by a corrupt registry or by a malware infection. Trojans and other malware infections are specifically targeting processes like task eng.exe to evade anti malware detection the task eng executable is associated with a lot of errors but the most culprits are my web search a nasty browser hijacker and a rocket tab both programs are bundled with trovi download manager and a few other ad supporting programs that thrive on illegitimate practices Although there's a lot of malware confirmed to target task eng.exe, the modus operandi is always the same. Once the malicious file finds its way on your computer, it will immediately attack the Windows Run and Run Once keys. As security experts have explained, there are some registry values in those keys that are set to run the task eng.exe error at startup or at fixed intervals. Most of the time, this, the virus will inject ad pop-ups and other advertisements while trying to stay under the security radar. However, there are more aggressive versions of this malware type that will perform one or more of these actions. They can obtain administrative permissions, gather information like shopping habits, keystroke or personal information, and then they can send the data to a third-party host. They can slow the computer down by using your system resources to mine data, or they can disable your ad blocking software and forcibly display different types of advertisements. So how we can determine if task eng.exe is a virus? Perhaps the biggest giveaway that the task eng.exe is actually infected in is the error message. If you see a blank task eng.exe pop-up accompanied by an error message similar to Windows cannot find executable file, there's a high chance that you are dealing with a virus infection. You can be even more sure if this if you can be even more sure of this if you see any mention of rocket tab genius box or my web search in the error message if you see a similar message to the one displayed in the video right now there's one more verification to make before you determine that you are dealing with a virus infection the legitimate task eng exe process is located in c drive windows directory and system 32 
you can identify if this is the case by opening task manager either by pressing control shift or escape or you can always press control alt delete and choose the task manager or right click on the taskbar to open the task manager once you are in task manager go to process tab once there locate task.eng and check the command line associated with it. So locate task eng.exe and check the command line associated with it or right click on it and choose open file location. If the path is something else then see Windows System 32 you just identify the source of your malware infection. In this case we can just go and use an NLT malware software to eradicate this virus. We have three methods that we can use in order to fix this problem. The first one is to disable user feed synchronization. Some users have successfully removed the random taskeng.exe pop-up after disabling a hidden task in task scheduler. As it turns out, there is a hidden task called user feed synchronization that is often responsible for this issue. Press Windows and R key to open a run dialog. Type task schd.msc. This will open up task scheduler library. On the left pane, click right click on task scheduler library. Click on View and check the box which says Show Hidden Task. Once you're there, if your computer is infected, you will see a user feed synchronization job in here. And when you select the task and click on History tab, now if this pop-ups are being caused by this particular issue, you should see a list of dates and times along with error reports. Then and only then proceed to next step. If the list is empty, you can choose our next method we are going to display in this video. If the history list is filled with error reports, just click on disable button on the rightmost pane. So, while we suppose this to be the user synchronization user feed synchronization job you can just click on disable in right pane to disable this job if the event that is that this method didn't resolve your issue you can go to the next method. The next method that we have is to disable office background task handler registration. Some users encountering this particular issue traced the old odd behavior to Microsoft Office. There's a get office icon that auto installs and can end up causing this problem. So we have to disable office background task handler registration and office background task handler logon from task scheduler so following the same steps press windows and r key to open run dialog open task scheduler.msc and in the list of task scheduler library we need to find office so we'll expand task scheduler library we'll go to microsoft and in office let me expand this now here if we have office background task handler registration just choose that job and click on disable button from here and same goes for office background task handler logon we'll disable that schedule too once you're done check if the issue is resolved third method is to scan your system with malware bytes if you previously determined that you are dealing with malware, let's take the appropriate measures to get rid of the infection. 
You could do this in a number of ways, but given the fact that the infection can spread to other system files, deleting task ENG is not really applicable. Instead, it's recommended to run a system-wide scan with a powerful antivirus suit. Most security products are capable of dealing with an infection such as malware bytes, but users have also reported false positives related to this issue. To minimize this risk, list a user solution that has been used successfully by most users dealing with this problem. Malware bytes is not only effective in dealing with trojans and viruses, it's undoubtedly the best security software when it comes to removing adware and browser hijackers. Download the latest version free of malware bytes from this official link and run the installer. Once the security is installed, open Malware Bytes and hit the Scan new, Scan Now button. Once the scan is complete, the threats will be automatically quarantined. Upon the next restart, Windows will automatically recreate task eng.exe and every other system file that was infected by the infection. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.